how did you prepare for the role of Melissa? And more importantly, you know, playing someone who had ovarian cancer and is a real person. Mm -hmm. There's obviously a huge responsibility when you're playing um, a real person, but knowing her journey and mm -hmm. how it all sort of uh, fell into place, it was really important that, that we get it right, you know? Mm -hmm. and. Um, and I think for me, early on, I was kind of scrambling, trying mm -hmm. to do as much research as I could and, and watch videos of people. And so I felt like early on, before we even got to Mobile to shoot, I had a lot of knowledge that was just sort of like circling about. And then after meeting Jeremy and settling into uh, just the work environment, I was like, okay, so I have everything that I, I have, all the tools, and yeah. now just let it go and try to bring her spirit to life as best I could. That was sort of my game plan. Now was there one scene that was like more difficult than others that like stood out as like the most difficult? There was one scene in particular where um, he brings me out on the stage as I'm sort of, you know, in the in the throes of of the illness and the character of Jeremy's having to talk me through uh, just a lot of things that had been on his mind and it was it's a very emotional scene mm -hmm. and we were doing it at the very end of the week and we were late on the day and they were like do we push the scene do we do it and then everyone was like no we, we we've got to make this scene happen we'll rally together and just do it and uh and that i think is my favorite scene of the movie because you really just get to see sort of like a stripped down vulnerable version of of how we uh, made the movie happen, you know. So you and KJ have worked together before on A Dog's yes. Purpose. How was it reuniting with him for a second time? It was good, yeah. I mean, it's always nice being able to work with your friends. Yeah. Um, so to know that this all kind of happened in a way that you are going to get to work with your friend for the next, like, two and a half months in, yeah. in a place like Mobile, Alabama, it was like a dream come true. But also he's just such a lovely actor and mm -hmm. such a great guy. Um, it, was a, it, was, it was an absolute pleasure. So both The Dog's Purpose and I Still Believe are both very emotional films. Yeah. How do you pull yourself out of that headspace after filming? Well, it helps having your buddy. Yeah. Um, it's nice to be able to walk away uh, from a hard day at work and just be able to kind of decompress and talk about personal stuff or, mm -hmm. or just sort of sit in, um, in silence even, you know. Uh, so that was really nice, just having someone that I've, I enjoyed being around and, um, and being able to just take a deep breath. I bet that would definitely make a big help. Yes. Yeah. So since faith is a central theme in this film, do you feel that your personal views were impacted or changed at all? Yeah, you know, I, I think, um, uh, well, all of it was so influential, you know, um, and, and just me as an individual, as I've grown and as I've moved to different places in the world and I've uh, just experienced so many different things as I'm growing as an individual, my faith has definitely changed yeah. and evolved. But this film in particular has made an impact more than anything else, I would say. So overall, what do you think you're going to take away most from this experience? I think it's given me just a, a greater understanding um, for you know, having compassion, having perspective on your life and being, being able to take advantage of the things that you can um, enjoy right now in this moment. Because I think I, uh, before doing a film like this, before meeting Jeremy or hearing their story, I was so like, la-di-da, like, let's go about life. Yeah. And after this film, you kind of go like, la-di-da, like, what a great life, you know, and you mm -hmm. sort of start taking um, inventory of all the great things that you, that you, um, take for granted, like your health or whatever it may be.